This week on Geek Crash Course, it's thanks taking. We'll be giving some lesser known villains some recognition they'll be thankful for. I am the Crimson Nerd. Like the candy? And I am the Purple Peacock. Like, like NBC? This isn't a network show. CBS, ABC, Fox, in the interest of fairness. I'm the Crimson Nerd! I'm the Purple Peacock, and this is Geek Crash Course! <laughs> show are recurring threats to heroes. There are no one-shot blunders here. I see what you did there. First up is Killer Moth. He's a Batman villain. Uh, he was a fake millionaire, kind of a con man, named Cameron Van Cleer. He was a friend of Bruce Wayne's who, for being a terrible villain, ended up being kind of a threat because he found out Batman's secret identity. Unfortunately, some other crooks shot him in the head and he got amnesia. It's kind of the end of Cameron Van Cleer until post-crisis which we'll have to cover at some point. A new killer monster is up called Drury Walker, who takes on the fake name of Cameron Van Cleer and Killer Moth. Now, he realizes what a lame villain he is and ends up selling his soul to the demon Neron to become feared. What happens is he gets mutated into a giant bug monster called Charaxes, which is a terrible name as well. He should have just stuck with Killer Moth. Uh, again, doesn't matter for being a moth, he kind of went into the light after the evil Superboy Prime tore him in half just to prove how evil he was, eh, for reasons. Next up is Big Wheel. He's a Spider-Man villain. His real name is Jackson Wheel, and he was humiliated by the villain Rocket Racer. Who is Lamb? So he paid the Tinkerer Lamb. to build him a deadly wheel so he can climb walls Lamb. and fire weapons and grab things with the arms that are attached to the wheel's hubs. He's a, he's a big wheel with arms. Whose last name is Wheel. He's, he's Lame. Wheel. Big Wheel once quit villainy, joined Villainon, which is supervillain AA, and became a sensation in the demolition derby world. Continuing on the theme of villains who use part of their name as part of their supervillain name for some reason, we have Paste Pot Pete. Lame. Correct. He's a Fantastic Four villain. His name is Peter Petruski. He tries to change his villain name later to The Trapster. <laughs> But the joke is no one calls him the Trapster, like the Human Torch makes fun of him all the time for being paced by Pete. He's a chemistry genius. He created a super adhesive, like a super glue or a crazy glue, if you will, which would have been a better name. He can trap his enemies. He can climb walls with his gooey, sticky hands. Basically, if you can do it with glue, you can do it with paste, Pot Pete. So he's, he's Flypaper Man. Might have been a better name. Flypaper Man, crazy glue. Sticky Tack. Sticky Tack. Take these down, Pete. Come on, work with us. There was once a second trapster named Larry Curtis who stole the original's weapons and costume and battled Iron Man. He was never heard from again. Mm. Count Vertigo was a Green Arrow villain. His real name is Count Werner Vertigo. He was the leader of the Eastern European country Voltava. Fake. Not a real country. Fake. He was born with an inner ear problem, so he created this implant that lets him hear and walk because when you have an inner ear problem, you have a balance issue. And he can use this implant to create the Vertigo effect which makes people dizzy. Also, Count Vertigo can fly, but we don't really know why. I have no idea, guys. Uh, if you know, comments below. How does that guy fly? Because of his, I don't, anyway. Next up is Batrock the Leaper, whose name is George Batrock. Dude, come on. He's a French mercenary, a Captain America villain who specializes in martial arts, namely savate, which is a form of French kickboxing, or freedom kickboxing. Will. He doesn't really help his case. He leaps around like a frog. See what they did there? He has a big dolly mustache, wears a purple tracksuit with a hood, and has this ridiculous accent like in the speech blues. He's like, I am Batroc Zinni Pair! With like Z E. It's not. It's not ideal, buddy. Batroc once formed a villain team, Batroc's Brigade, made up of Batroc, Zaran the Weapons Master, and a guy named Machete. None of these villains ever really took off. Spirit Fingers! That's it for this week's Thanks Taking <laughs> episode of Geek Crash Course. Moral of this week's episode, if you decide to become a supervillain, pick a new name. If our countdown's best name is Killer Moth, we might have a problem. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter, we're now on Google+. Ooh. You can also subscribe above or comment below to stay in touch with us and uh, keep apprised of new episodes of the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on Geek Crash Course. Unless we're already... Ruling the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a beard to stroke.
Sticky tack would be a better name. Sticky tack would be great. <laughs> Crazy glue. Sticky, sticky tack. tack. Fly paper man would even be better.